welcome to Ludic Science. In this video, I'm going to hack this power bank to convert it into a lithium ion battery charger. As you know, these power banks are used to charge your cell phone. You connect five volts to the input from the charger of your cell phone. The battery inside gets charged and then you can use it by connecting also your phone to the USB port. Inside this power bank, we have only two components. One is the battery, a single 18650 lithium ion battery and an electronics board whose function is to first charge the battery, disconnect the power when the battery is full in order to prevent damage to the cell and also when you are using the energy it has to raise the voltage of the battery to 5 volts which is the voltage of the USB port because as you know lithium ion batteries have a nominal voltage of 3.7 volts so the board has thus those two functions therefore Let's open the power bank to gain access to this component. Next time you need a PCB for your electronics project, consider using the professional services of JLC PCB. JLC PCB is the world leader in PCB fabrication. You can order online. You just need to register upload your Gerber file and wait a few days for your PCBs at an unbeatable price. Okay, as we mentioned before, that's all there is to it. Just the battery and the charger module. As you can see, there are only two connections, positive and negative, to the battery. And what we can do is to remove the battery and connect the charger module to several battery holders in order to charge more than one battery at the time. Okay, here it is. What I did is to connect all the battery holders in parallel, all the positives and negatives, and then to the positive and negative of the little charger module. So now we can charge one or up to four batteries. Of course, this charger is designed to charge just a single cell, in about an hour and a half 
Therefore, if we charge more batteries, it will take more time, of course. But you can charge more than one battery. Let me connect the charger to the micro USB port. And there it is. The charging process is going. And of course, when the batteries are charged, you can remove them or you can use it as it is to charge your cell phone or any device that needs 5 volts because you have the USB port. Let's see if it works for charging the cell phone. Connect the USB cable and then to the phone. And there it is. It is now charging the cell phone. I am using here these very cheap batteries. They have only 800 milliamp hour. So in total for the four batteries we have 3200 milliamp hour. Now modern cell phones have batteries of four or five thousand milliamp hour. So with the batteries fully charged, you will have enough energy for almost a full charge of your phone. But if you use uh, quality cells of 2500 milliamp hours, you will have a total of 10,000 milliamp hours and you will be able to charge your phone a couple times. Okay, so there you have it. From a little power bank to a battery charger and also a power bank of more capacity. I hope you liked this video. Thanks for your visit and see you in the next one. Oh, <laughs>